रहा है और इसी यही कहकर मैं अपनी वाणी को विराम दूंगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद श्री वी कला निधि थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर गिविंग मी एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस जनरली म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन अमेंडमेंट बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सर इट इज वेरी सैड टू सी द ट्रेजरी बेंचेस ऑलवेज कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट द कांग्रेस पार्टी for whatever problems are being faced in the country now i think it is almost more than 7 years since this new government has been in place and i feel that probably this is a time where you have to look forward saying how best we can take the country forward rather than to look back and say that congress has been the root cause for all evil in this uh, country so we have to understand that congress has done some amount of development for the last since freedom till you came to power and in between there was vajpayee government also which was there and subsequently now you are here with a huge majority sir i wish to congratulate you on that but having said that we have to see how we can go forward instead of complaining about how the congress government has ruined it in fact one of my friends who's a, i have a few friends in bjp also while we were sitting and talking casually he said during the covid we were talking about the covid and the management of the covid by this government and surprisingly he said the cause for covid in india is because of the congress so for a second i was taken aback surprised shocked i was wondering what is he talking about so i asked him what are you saying where did the uh, corona virus come from he said it came from china i said how did it come in it came through the flights so who is controlling the government or operating these flights it's the bjp then how do you say it's the congress government which is the root cause for all this who built the airports so they he says the congress government built the airports and that's why the corona virus has come into india so this is the way if you are going to be talking i turned uh, 50 in 2019 20 sir and i i think probably even rahul ji also would have turned and our honorable prime minister also would have turned 70 there are times when i get a doubt probably we would not have turned 50 or 70 had it not been for the bjp maybe i would have been hanging on at 49 till the congress i mean like as long as the bjp government hadn't come so this is the kind of conversations are we trying to have and this bill the way it has been brought and the content of this bill this shows the government's total apathy towards i mean like any kind of uh, norms which have to be followed sir every other bill there may be an argument there is probably a, a reason and a good uh, intention behind the bringing of this bill but in this particular bill the way it was brought on march 9th or so there was a announcement from the delhi election commission stating that he is calling for a press conference on the same day he gets a letter saying that this press, uh, this election should be postponed because we are planning to bring in a bill this way so what is the urgency to bring in a bill in this form when the election is supposed to be happening in april 2022 what is the urgency or the necessity to do it in such a fashion where one month before in a kind of this is a kind of a semi emergency sir you in a, you are bringing in a rule where you are saying that the elections are not going to happen and if the elections do not happen the the reason why it is not going to happen is because bjp has been ruling this uh, corporation for more than 15 years and probably the election results are not may not be in the favor of the bjp and that is the reason there is a suspicion that that is the reason why this bill is being brought because if you, this bill is brought and delimitation has to be done because in this bill the main things that you are talking about is you are reducing the number of seats from 272 to 250 so there is a there is an assumption that this government is planning to increase the number of members of parliament in the country but whereas when you are trying to do that probably you are justified in doing that but what is the justification we can find for reducing the number of councillors who are existing from 270 to 250 what was the need to reduce when the whole country the population is increasing and we need probably more representatives for a given set of population we are reducing the number of councillors is in no way we can understand why it is happening no logic there is absolutely no logic in this sir and the other one is the bill which made the possibility of trifurcation of this uh, this corporation was brought in by the dmca uh, the, by the uh, delhi legislative assembly sir in 2011 it's hardly 10 years now and within the 10 years again we are going back the supreme court had already made an observation saying that this government is bringing in bills without putting much thought into it 
which is causing a lot of confusions and recalling of bills. Even the farm bills, we, had, we were forced to re recall because of the huge protest by the farmers. Similarly, when the Delhi uh, government had trifurcated it, I, sh I feel that there probably must have been a reason why they trifurcated. Has anybody looked into that? I will give you a small example about my, uh, my corporation, sir. When I am in the Chennai, we have three parliamentary constituencies in that, but, but it's a single corporation. But the fund allocation, which was close to 1,900 crores for Chennai, I will say that the, during the previous ADMK government, 1,000 crores was spent on South Chennai, about 850 crores was spent on Central Chennai, and North Chennai had only about 25 to 50 crores of funding allocated for this. This is, what, this is a very unjust way, and we had made several representations because my constituency is, my, my constituency is the most uh, economically and socially backward. So similarly in Delhi, they have brought in a situation where they had three corporations and they had an understanding where there will be an officer who will be coordinating with these three corporations to make sure the to toll tax collections will be equally distributed and all those things. And also the powers of the Delhi government. Through this bill, the powers which have been removed are the total number of seats and the reservation of seats was with the Delhi government, division to zones and wards and delimitation relating to salaries, allowances, leave, and leave of the commissioner. And the main thing in this is building regulation. Do you want to say that the union government wants to take the powers of a corporation also and uh, keep running that also? And the other fear that we have, if you are going to set a precedent of taking up this corporation now, what assurances do we have that this is not going to happen to other corporations throughout the country? There are several corporations all over the country, and what, makes, uh, what will give us the confidence that you will not take up any of these corporations in future? And also, it has been shown that the delimitation process takes a minimum of 16 to 18 months. Already as uh, our, uh, uh, my earlier speaker, Mr. Manish Tiwariji, had spoken, he had said by delimitation, when, uh, what are statistics are we going to take? Are we going to take statistics from the 2011 census or are we going to say that we are going to wait for the 2023, 22, 23 census and then go forward? That way I feel that the parliament elections may happen even before your Delhi corporation elections can happen. So I think this is a very unjust way and a cruel way of treating the people of Delhi. And 2024, even then, we do not know for sure whether you, the elections ever will be conducted in the Delhi corporation ever again. So the bill also omits for the provision of director for local bodies, sir. So the role of the director was to coordinate between the corporations, fra framing recruitment rules for various posts, toll tax collection and sharing, sir. This special officer is not mentioned at all, and till further election, the, till further election, only the special officer is going to be there. There is no provision for a role of a director, and it has not been defined at all. Sir, I will tell you, in the Tamil Nadu, we went through a phase where for four years, we did not have our corporation local body elections. And though the people were asking Sorgada. for it, because the council the co is the... Sir, Sorgada, one, one minute, please. sir, one minute, sir. I'll just finish. Sorgada. Sir, uh, for four years, we did not have elections. And one of the problems is, if there is a special officer, funding from the union government to the individual wards may be an issue. So in these kind of situations, for the government to have taken a decision one month before the scheduled elections are supposed to happen, that you have brought this bill and you are thwarting the whole election process is actually very, very sad and pathetic, sir. Sir, uh, the other one is from... Sir, the, regarding the funding also, uh, Manish Tiwariji also had mentioned about this. Between 2010 and 2011, 1,465 crores was provided for the Delhi Corporation. The, between 2014 and 2015, 4,380 crores was provided. And during 2021-22, the amount provided under the Ahmadmi Party government is 6,172 crores. Sir. So when the government has already provided a sub substantial amount, if you felt that the amount needed for the local bodies was not adequate, it would have been easily possible for you to provide that allocation. You could have made an extra allocation of the whatever funds was needed. In fact, in earlier one of my speeches also I was talking about, I don't know about the Delhi uh, corporation, but several corporations in the country, the elected representatives are working without a salary. So I would request that the government take this opportunity to see if the salaries for the 
local bodies across the country can be paid by the union government substantially, say about 70 or 80 percent, and the remaining per uh, percentage can be paid by the local governments to, in the, from the state, sir. They are? Yeah, they are working without salary, yes. I am saying that I am saying that they also should be provided salary. Sir. Yes, sir, sir, the, 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 other, the other question is about the garbage, sir. If you look at all the municipal corporations. Sir, sir, one minute, sir. One minute. Sir, sir the, the intervention of the minister during the debate is good for the house. Sir. The normally, normally ministers are not intervening. That is a problem. Sir, intervention of the ministers during the debate so as to clarify, give more clarification is good. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir, the other one is every municipal corporation. I mean, like every uh, every every state have their municipal corporations and they have their own host, which is one of the biggest problems which they face is their garbage dump yard, sir. In fact, in, if you look in Delhi and, prob and even in Chennai, there will be acres of garbage piled up to about 13 or 14 floors high. So I feel that the government of India can create a separate fund for modernization of these garbages because when I approached the union government for, to help on this, using a process called as bio-mining, 600 crores is the budget required. As an individual parliamentary cons uh, constituency, the government cannot, or as an MLA constituency, or as a ward, we will not be able to fund it unless the union government steps in over here, sir. So the BJP government, which has been ruling the, the Delhi Corporation for more than 15 years, the achievement, what they have done, is leaving three garbage mountains at the entrance of Delhi, dilapidated government hospitals, which are not being adequately cared for, selling government property at throwaway prices, sir. So I... I totally oppose this bill and I hope that the government will withdraw this bill and ensure that fair elections are held next month to ensure that democracy is safe, sir. Thank you very much.